You're a few years into your ham way of life and you're thinking about taking one of the antennas that you cut your teeth on in learning ham radio and has become the mainstay and foundation of your SHTF go bag and you're thinking about completely changing it out, not because it's deficient, but because you found something that may fit better, be a smaller package size, smaller footprint, and be just as effective. Boy, it makes you a little bit weak need to think about going from this to this. The Gable Antenna GRA7350T, small, compact, lightweight, 6 meter through 80 meter portable antenna. I've checked most of the boxes that I can up to this point. It can hear, it can transmit, it's lightweight, it's adaptable to many different situations. What's left to do but to give the thing a torture test? And that's precisely what we're going to do with the support of G Gable Antenna. And what I mean by support is this, they have provided me with a new antenna and a new tripod for me to not just beat within an inch of its life, but by the time I'm done with it, it will be unusable. And here's why I'm doing this. I want to assure that when this goes into my SHTF communication go bag, I have the most reliable antenna that I can in the smallest size possible. Here's the plan, and I'm telling you the plan because if you have an idea that is executable with my skill set and my equipment, meaning I'm not a test lab and meaning I'm not an engineer, I'd like you to comment below what you think I could do to torture test this. First up, the 80 meter coil goes away. I have not used this in any of my testing. I have operated primarily on 20 meters and 40 meters, so that is what the test is going to include. I'm going to erect this on my back porch where I can keep an eye on it simply by looking out the window, and I'm going to subject it to the torture of a August summer in Tampa Bay, Florida. Meaning for many days, we'll be easily at 100 degrees. We'll have sun beating down directly on this. We will have storm after storm pounding on top of this with rain. So it will be assembled and the antenna will be erected unless a nasty, nasty thunderstorm is coming my way. Then I do not want a lightning rod on the back porch and I will collapse this, but leave it outside. The coax will be connected to the tripod. I will set up my radial system. I'll take an SWR reading, making sure that I'm in a range that's acceptable to operate. Then when I put the antenna with the uh, expandable coil together and I put it on top of the tripod, it will just stay out there for 30 days straight. It will be subjected to all the weather extremes that the Tampa Bay, Florida area can give to it. At the end of that 30 days, I'll go back out and I will check my SWR and see if I am still in good shape. The only place I'm going to use any tape would be where my coax goes over here, matching up to my feed line, because that's what you would do in any external antenna uh, installation. So there's no reason not to do that here. I'm not going to tape this joint, and I'm not going to tape the joint here uh, between this uh, PL259 and the SO239 connector. I'm hoping that no moisture wicks up in this. Now, it's not my perspective that this is a long-term outside antenna. I don't believe that was the setup and purpose of this antenna. But I am comparing it primarily to a Wolf River coil. And we all know you can take a Wolf River coil and you can set it up outside and forget about it. This is going in my go bag for an emergency situation. If I truly find myself in a grid down SHTF situation, this thing won't be up 24 seven without my eyeballs on it because I wouldn't want anybody stealing it or tampering with it. So it would be guarded. And I would do the same thing with any antenna that I would use in that situation. So the torture test I'm subjecting this to would be extreme for how I intend to have it operating in my use case. And every one of our individual use case should influence our equipment purchase and usage. So I'm going to let the rain nail it. I'm going to let the heat nail it. I'm also going to try to get an adapter to go from this thread, which is one of the oddest threads ever. It's not just that it's metric. It's a weird metric. It's not, uh, I think, the M10 by 1.5 that we're used to on some other antennas that come out of Asia. I think it's an M10 by one, if I'm not mistaken. I've searched for weeks. I finally found an adapter that's on order. I'm going to put some heavier antennas on this and see if by pushing and swaying those antennas, I can create any uh, fractures here or break this. This is a lightweight antenna. It works great, but I want to put some other antennas on this and subject it to uh, some tension to see if I can crack it. 
When we're done with that, if I haven't destroyed it up to that point, I'm going to disassemble this because I want to see what's going on in here. I want to see how this thing operates. That's not part of the torture test. That's part of my uh, inquisitive nature to understand how it works. Then I'm going to put it back together, and then I'm going to try to somehow bend this uh, as hard as I can with my hands to see if I can snap it. And, and of course, I'll do that with with the, the rod fully inside, but also fully extended because this rod collapsed is going to create plenty of support when I'm done abusing this and feel like if I uh, crack it, smash it, etc., I've not done any harm to other tests, then I'll extend this and see if I can crack this with my hands. If I can't crack it with my hands, I'm gonna put it over my knee. If I can't get it to crack over my knee, well then we'll take a tool to it, which at that point, you know, isn't a real life test. So that's what I'm going to do to it. I want to know that when this thing goes in my SHTF emergency communications bag, it's as reliable as it possibly can be. I'm thrilled with it so far. I just want to torture it and make sure it can withstand some abuse. If you have something else that you think would be a good, rational, reasonable uh, test, please let me know in the comments below. If I agree with you <laughs> and I'm capable of doing it, we'll add it to the torture test. I'll be back to you in 45 days after I'm done doing all the videoing and the torture testing and the final uh, video taping and cutting. Tell you my findings and see if we can all agree this is a good option for us.